Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on sequences. So this is the last video on this topic, we're just going to run through a few example questions. We'll start with this one uh, on finding the nth term of a linear sequence. So here we have the sequence minus 2, 5, 12, 19 and 26 and we want to find the nth term of this sequence. So for a linear sequence the nth term is in the form a n plus b where a and b are constants to be determined. a is the common difference and we get that by finding the difference between two terms. So here the difference between minus 2 and 5 is 7, so we're adding 7 uh, each time to get from one term to the next. So a equals 7, uh, so therefore if we have the term, or the sequence, sorry, 7n, uh, and we substitute in values of n equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, uh, then we'll get the sequence 7, 14, 21, 28, 35. Uh, so this is just the 7 times table. So to get from 7n to the sequence we're given, we need to subtract uh, 9 from each term. So 7 minus 9 gives us minus 2, 14 minus 9 gives us 5, 21 minus 9 gives us 12, and so on. So our nth term, whoops, nth term is 7n minus 9. So moving on to the second example, this time we're going to try and determine if a value is part of a sequence. So we've got the first five terms of a linear sequence here. We've got minus 3, 1, 5, 9, and 13. And we want to determine if 1143 is a part of the sequence. So we'll start off by finding the nth term. So that's going to be in the form a n plus b. So a, sorry, a is the common difference. In this case, that's plus 4. So to go from one term to the next, we're adding 4 each time. So uh, this gives us 4n to work with. So if we have 4n as our nth term, uh, then the values we're going to get for our sequence are 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. So that's just the 4 times table. Uh, obviously, that's not the sequence that we're given in the question. So we need to subtract 7 from each of these values to get the sequence we've got. So the nth term is 4n minus 7. So now we've got our nth term. Uh, we can use this to work out whether or not 1143 is in the sequence. And we do that as follows. So I'm going to do it over here on the left. We set 4n minus 7 equal to 1143. Uh, and now we just solve this to find n. And if n is a whole number, then 1143 is in the sequence. If n is not a whole number, then it's not in the sequence. So we're going to add 7 to both sides to get 4n equals 1150. And we divide both sides by 4 uh, to get n equals uh, 150, sorry, sorry, 1150 over 4, which is equal to 287.5. You could do that in the calculator if you want to, uh, as this is a calculated topic. Uh, but as you can see, it's not a whole number, so it's not in the sequence. So moving on then, uh, let's have a look at this last example, which is slightly different. So we've got the sum of two consecutive terms in a sequence given by the nth term 3n plus 8 is 109. Find the values of these two terms. So uh, 3n plus 8 is going to give us one of the terms and we're looking for two consecutive terms. So the term after 3n plus 8 is going to be 3 lots of n plus 1 plus 8. Uh, so we're adding these two terms together and that gives us a sum of 109. So we need to just expand out the bracket in this expression and collect like terms first of all. So we've got 3n plus 8 still here, uh, plus 3 lots of n plus 3, uh, plus 8 is equal to 109. So now we collect the like terms, so we should get 6n plus 19 equals 109. Now we rearrange this equation and solve for n, so we get 6n equals 90. So all I've done is subtract the 19 there, and now we just divide both sides by 6 to get n on its own. So n is 90 over 6 which is 15. So now we have our value for n, we can work out what the two terms are, or the values of these two terms are, uh, by substituting in n equals 15 and n plus 1, so that would be 16. So if n equals six, oh, sorry, 15, and our nth term is 3n plus 8, then we substitute in this value, so we should get 3 times 15 plus 8, so that's uh, 45 plus 8, which is 53. So one of the terms is 53, uh, and then the next term uh, we'll get just by adding the common difference. 
So in this case it's 3, so the next term is going to be 56. So our two terms are 53 and 56. If you want to practice some linear sequences exam style questions, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, a variety of different question types, and all of which you'll receive instant feedback on. So this is a really good way of keeping track of your progress, finding out where you're going wrong, and a good way to make sure you can improve in time through your actual exam. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.